happy Easter. So I took my EM10 Mark II out to an Easter fair and I was pleasantly surprised actually because it was quite dark and I had my 45mm 1.8 but it was still really hard to get focus. It's getting a little bit dated now and getting focus is a little bit hard especially in the dark but I was pleasantly surprised actually because a few of the shots turned out really good. The first shot always starts off really bad. <laughs> it's just going to get warmed up. This one, I like the colours. Uh, I thought I'll pop it out a bit with the colours. I like the colours on this one. The yellow and, you know, just really pops like a mustard type. And I saw this lady, she was pointing at it. The food's so making me hungry, <laughs> so I took a photo. But now this one was, I was trying to do the same thing. I was trying to emphasize that's where the food came from. And this little girl there was having the food, missed focus. But I thought, why not? I'll include it because it tells a story, focus or not. I saw this guy with his child on his head. And I always take photos of that. I don't know why, <laughs> but I heavily edited this one because I wanted to get like that kind of filmic, dark, velvety look, almost like Fuji Velvia type. Uh, this guy was a classic, <laughs> he was dancing to 9 to 5. <laughs> the bubbles really turned out awesome. I'm really happy with the EM10 Mark II. It just really captured and froze the bubbles and it was just super sharp. Yeah, especially in low light. And uh, I thought I'd capture that moment and the fun that all the kids were having by, um, you know, getting some of the kids trying to burst the, bur the bubbles. So it just, it, it was one of those scenes where you wanted to capture the moment of what the kids were doing. And I just thought, you know, when they were trying to reach out, I thought I'll, I'll get that uh, to tell the story. It just really caught the vibe of the happy, fun environment that was there just by, you know, <laughs> them running around trying to burst the balloons, ah, bubbles, sorry. And of course I had to do a colour replacement. <laughs> I always do colour replacements. I know they're tacky, but uh, why not? That orange suit just had to be colour replaced or whatever the hell it's called. For filming, I just left it in aperture priority and I just pressed the film button near you know, the record button and it was set to 24 frames per second. It was a little bit jittery, like I think with the 24 frames per second because of the low light, but I really liked the colours and they turned out pretty good, you know, 1920 by 1080. I really liked the teddy bear and on these. Uh, the colours that were there, so I just filling the frames always. You know, you can't lose. You can't lose filling the frame, <laughs> especially when there's so much good colour and pop out of it. Just looking with your human eyes, I never really noticed the pop of the orange um, until I looked for the viewfinder, and obviously in post you can really bring out you know the sunset colours. So these guys were, um, were skateboarders or something, and. I uh, switched over to uh, low shutter priority with continuous autofocus, just like you know you're shooting birds. And I caught some really fast action shots. Uh, not bad for the good old EM10 Mark II. Uh, a lot of missed focus, but um, what I did, I I, did, I kept the missed focus ones um, because I thought I could just become you know if you get. I, I thought I'd just uh, get a bit arty farty with the missed focus ones. Don't throw away your missed focus ones. Um, you can still like, if you, if you caught the moment really well, uh, but you missed focus, create like a, a light leak or, and it almost looks like, you know, you can put it on the magazine, you know, the missed focus, because it's the action that you're really trying to capture, not the focus. Um, I think this one here is probably my favorite. It kind of reminds me of like, those 1970s skateboard movies, you know, like surfer movies, really turned out one of my favorites. And then this was the last shot. It's just um, these little miniature toys, but the video is unreal. Um, it just looks like it's real. <laughs> I filmed everything in 24 frames per second on the EM10 and uh, the focus was really good. And this was just like kind of like a diorama type uh, a shot uh, that I did in camera actually. I didn't use any editing for that. It just looked like diorama. So the EM10 Mark II, it's still pretty good. It, it slows you down actually because it's kind of like film, you know. It's not the fastest camera out there, 
but it's got all the presets if you want to switch between here and there and it's a pleasant you know walking camera but mind you when i did switch over to a fast burst mode i did capture some of those shots of those skateboarders if needed you can switch over to an action camera you know and i think i'm not sure what the burst rate is but it's enough to you know be lucky and get some of the shots in focus but in general it's just a really good you know walk around camera uh, take your time like i said i was really scared about the low light but um with the 1.8 f45 millimeter it was pretty good and even filming was good um, with it so it was struggling to catch focus but overall um yeah really impressed with it anyway here's a bit of jerry uh, she was a bit pissed off that uh, she couldn't come so it's in her contract to have airtime um so here's a bit of airtime for of jerry <laughs> Jerry, uh, she it's in her contract so um, otherwise she won't get paid anyway thanks for watching i'll uh, catch you on the next one